Good evening. All right, how's everyone feeling? Can I take my mask off to speak? Absolutely. Okay, so welcome. I want to thank everybody for being here. I'm very proud of our class and all of our accomplishments. I have a little bio, bio that they wrote for me, so I'm just going to read that. Our keynote speaker for tonight is Adam Simeon, originally from Waukegan, Illinois. Adam is a kindergarten teacher at Arthur Ashe Charter School in Gentilly. See, I live there. He is also a football coach right here at LCS. He played linebacker in college at Carroll University in Wisconsin. And upon graduating, he decided to, give, to seek a career giving back to younger generations as both a teacher and coach. He has been a positive role model in the lives of many children in New Orleans. Following a tragic accident this past Mardi Gras, Adam has faced an unimaginable set of challenges. The way in which he has embraced these challenges, especially during a pandemic, come on, <laughs> has shown, he has shown true character and has been a true inspiration to us all. He is truly the definition of our Project Pride qualities. And without further ado, here's Adam Sibia. Hello, hello. Hey, how's everybody doing tonight? everybody. My name's Adam Sivia. Thank you so much for the introduction. I sent you a few sentences and you just killed that. So thank you for that introduction. So my name's Adam Sivia. For those who don't know me, I coach football here over at Lusher. I don't know all of you students here, but it's been a pleasure working here the last few years. I first want to congratulate the Lusher graduating class of 2021. This night is all about you. So let's get a, give a hand of applause to everybody out here graduating tonight. I'm so proud of all you young people for making it this far in your education. Last March, y'all just packed your stuff up, uncertain about what was about to happen. You guys missed out in a lot of different things, events, sports, prom, homecoming, and all that. And you guys made it this far. I also want to thank Dr. Corbin and everyone else involved in inviting me to speak here tonight. It's truly an honor to be here with y'all. So, <laughs> I'm sorry y'all. So right before I got up on this stage, um, I was thinking, it's, I heard it's bad luck to say good luck before you go on stage for like a performance, uh, before you go do a speech. Well, my friend, he told me, break a leg. And I was like, then he said, thank you. I think he's gonna need to figure out a new thing to say to me next time I do something like this. I'm not gonna say any names, but he's here with us tonight too. <laughs> so Dr. Corbett, he called me a few weeks ago and asked if I was interested in doing the commencement speech. Um, before I could answer, he brought up some past speakers. He said politicians, senators, past mayors have done the speech. And then he went and told me Drew Brees has done the speech one year. I was like, how you gonna tell me that? And they expect me to be up here doing the speech in front of y'all. I, I mean, I know y'all would rather have me than Drew Brees up here. Thanks for showing some love. <laughs> uh, so I have so much love for the city. I've met the best people in my life in the city. I just moved here. Uh, three years ago, to this day actually, it's pretty ironic. I'm full of gratitude for how everyone has helped me make this beautiful city uh, my new home. So, on Mardi Gras three months ago, uh, Mardi Gras day, 
I, one of the few bad experiences that I've had in this city. Uh, I walked to the gas station like I've done multiple times, um, and a car hit me and pinned me up against the store. In consequence, the doctors had to ultimately decide to amputate both my legs. I was on the verge of death that day. They had to resuscitate me two times. But I made it through and I woke up in the hospital. So there are many different events that led up to that, which is just really crazy when I really look back and think about it. I was gonna go to Houston that morning, the Airbnb that I booked canceled an hour before I was about to go. When I got to the store, I looked for my mask. I was like, oh, I left it at home. I'm gonna just stand outside the store. I don't know why this happened. I never know why it happened, but I do know life is not over. These last <laughs> these last few months have just showed me a different side of myself. A, a, a different side. I've had ups, I've had downs, um, but like I said, life is not over. I've had a lot of time to think and reflect about life while I've been recovering from uh, this incident. So class of 2021, all of y'all have done a marvelous job since this pandemic started. Your junior year of high school just ended so abruptly. Y'all really just packed your stuff up and went home not knowing what was to come. Like I said earlier, clubs, sports, events, and just human connection, y'all didn't see your friends. You could only FaceTime, you could only text, make phone calls. I know that affected everybody in many different ways. You've been virtual, you've been in person, there's been hybrid. This was not an easy transition for any of y'all. But you did it. As you all enter into this next chapter of your life, no matter what journey you're taking, I want to leave with you some of the thoughts I've experienced uh, throughout this pandemic and also through these last three months of dealing with my limb loss. So we need to talk about mental health. It's so important, the most important, that you feel your feelings, however you're feeling. No matter how you're feeling, it's okay not to be okay. It's okay to give yourself time when you're down. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to cry. It's okay to laugh. Speak your truth. Speak up when you have something to say. The worst feeling in the world is holding something in and not having the opportunity later to say it. Speak your truth. There's so much craziness happening, on, happening in this world right now. You are the next generation emerging adults into this world to go make a difference, to do something about it. This is a generation to make change. You never know who or what you are influencing. Be nice to yourself. Your brain and your head, that's another muscle. How do we train our muscles? With practice, with repetition. When we get consumed in our thoughts, how are you speaking to yourself? Negative self-talk can eat you alive. It can put you down and keep you down. Train yourself to speak kindly to yourself. A good way to do that, that I've learned, is with affirmations. So the way I explain affirmations to my kindergarten students is like this. Affirmations are nice things we say to ourselves and say to other people to make ourselves and other people feel good and things that we believe. So I want all y'all to say some affirmations with me. All right, I'll go first, and then I want everybody to repeat after me. All right, that's for the graduates. That's for everyone in the stands, everyone on the stage. All right, this is something that everybody can do. Everyone can practice doing this. 
My life has meaning. Y'all, we got to do that again. We got to do that again. Bring some energy with it, y'all. Believe it. Believe it. Here we go. My life has meaning. I am here for a reason. I am intelligent. I am filled with love. I am worthy of your love. I am worthy of your patience. I am worthy of your respect. I can change the world. These are just a few examples. Tell yourself, tell yourself what you need to hear. Manifest what you want. Do your best each day. It'll look different every day, and that's okay. Sometimes getting up and getting out of bed may be your best. That's okay. Do not sell yourself short, though. You are on the clock. You never know when your time will come to an end. Make those phone calls that you've been wanting to talk to, but you haven't. Hang out with those people that radiate your positive energy. Take a chance on life. Like I said before, there's no worse feeling than taking a risk and not taking a risk. And then just having that feeling of what could have been done. Celebrate your wins, even the smallest wins. Celebrate it. You finish your paper, celebrate. You lifted that weight, celebrate. You did something you've been putting off for a while, celebrate. Life is not easy, y'all. It is not supposed to be. Celebrate all of your wins. You only have one life to live, y'all. Enjoy it while you can and make the most of it. And I want to end with this, y'all. Life is not always going to go your way. Sorry, y'all. I'm still trying to navigate this wheelchair. It's OK. <laughs> things are not always going to go our way. Many times, things are not going to go our way. How are you going to respond? You will be faced with adversity your whole life. Thank you. You will be faced with adversity your whole life. How are you going to respond? But more importantly, how are you going to react to people? Right? Will you be kind or will you be hurtful? How are you going to respond to people when you were feeling at your lowest? We're all human. Our social battery runs low a lot. But remember, if you make someone else feel low because you're feeling bad, that's just going to make you feel worse, and now you just put someone else down. Don't make others feel bad when you are down emotionally. And don't be in a rush. Things are going to happen how they're supposed to happen. Sometimes things will happen, and you don't know why. And sometimes you'll never know why. But keep your spirits. Do your best. And don't let adversity stop you from reaching your dreams. And be around supportive people, like-minded people. I truly believe that the best way to make yourself happy is to make someone else happy. And that will help you sustain a great life moving forward to the next chapter. Congratulations, class of 2021. Peace. Good evening. I'm Sam Wagner, Director of College Counseling. 